how how important was it to play the way you guys played against USC just after losing two straight and being able to kind of enter the, the final third of your season with a, with a win like that? I mean, we always want to play great defense. That's always the goal to play. You know, shoot, we could, there's a lot of things we could have did even better, but it's always a goal to, you know, play good. What are some of those things that you guys identified as areas you want to improve on? Uh, we wanted to not give up the deep ball, you know, let the ball go overhead, keep everything in front of us, and just make tackles, you know, kind of break it down to the basics of football. You know, sometimes you get caught up in the plays and all that. But sometimes it's just, man, line up. You take that guy, don't let him go deep, and make the tackle. Like, and then it's, you know, and you stay away from long downs and distances and stuff like that. What was it like to see Chase's performance Saturday? It kind of seemed like he was flying all over the field. That was awesome. That, it gets me hype. I see, especially being on the other side, seeing the corner, the other side of the corner play good. It just, it just gives me more confidence to go out there and play good. And it just kind of, you know, it builds a, like, um, just energy for the whole team. You know, Chase go out there and make a big hit. It's like, yeah, we all hype now. But yeah, it's always good to see my brother play good. What have you seen from Washington based on the film that you've watched and, and just what you've, what their body of work has been so far this year? I think they're a good team. I think they're a good team. They got a, they got some receivers. Um, but it's gonna be fun playing against. It's always fun against playing against better guys. So they got some good receivers. They got some. They got a running back. Uh, today and yesterday, the first time really getting familiar with them, studying them. I watched some of the games, but yeah, I think they're not going. It's not going to be too anything too too crazy. Anything that we can't handle. They've they've been kind of interception prone so far this year. Mm -hmm. How much does that kind of you you check that off on your calendar? Looking like for DB, is this a huge game for you guys? Kind of a thing. Yeah, I mean, you when you look at the scouting report and they throw them five, six, seven interceptions, whatever it may be. You know, you know the quarterback may be a little more pass happy or even if someone's covered, he's going to throw it anyways. So you just get keys like that, or is he staring down a receiver, stuff like that. But you always want to make plays and turn the ball over. That's always the goal. How much would you say, you know, whether it was media or fans or whatever the case may be, how much would you say that outside noise would play the motivation factor going into the USC game? I mean, we don't – we. I mean, personally, me, I don't buy into none of that because I, I, I'm always going to bet on myself and I'm always going to bet on my team. I know it's a different side of the ball, but Rashad seems like somebody that like everybody embraces, not just the offense, defense, special teams. What has his impact felt like beyond the closed doors? Just like in the locker room and being around, oh, he's yeah. great. He's, just, he's the same guy that's like in the interview. Like, yeah, all right. Like, I, lo like, I love his uh, attitude about the game, approach to the game. I love watching him play too. Uh, it's just it's good. It's always good energy. I've never seen him like get real down on himself or anything like that. Like next play mentality type for real. And he definitely loves football. What are some of the goals that you guys have outlined as a team for the remainder of the season? We're trying to win every game. We're trying to you know with defense. We're trying to shut everybody out. Just just like that. You know we're trying to. Ain't nothing really changed. We want we want the same things, but you know now we. It's some things out of our hands, so all you can do is be your best. What's the toughest thing about back-to-back uh, -back road games? I mean, isn't it's, you can't really think about it like that. Like right now, we got Washington. That's what it is. We're going to Washington, play a football game, and we got their scheme for them. And then when the time comes around, we're gonna be focused on the next people. This is what it is. It's always better to play at home, though. Don't gotta travel as far. You know what I'm saying? Sleep a little better. It's always better to play at home, but. It is what it is. You don't. You can't look too far in the future. It's right now. With regard to Washington specifically, it sounds like the weather might be a little bit of a challenge up there. How do you guys prepare for something like that? And I know that you you, know, you try and ignore it, but what what are the preparations like? I mean, the weather you can't you can't really you know you can't really ignore it, but it kind of brings the best out of you sometimes because it's wet. You already mad about the weather. So you mad at the other guy across from you. <laughs> hit him a little harder. You know what I'm saying? But um, preparation wise, uh, they were out there on the field like. Uh, watering the ball, getting it wet, and stuff like that. Obviously, it's you know like 80 degrees, it's beautiful out here in Arizona. So we can't do nothing to make it colder. But you just gotta know, just um, just be mentally sharp. As long as you know your assignment and stuff, it can be real hot, it can be real cold. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta do it. And you guys have the the crowd noise going too to yeah, prepare yeah, for, for sure. that for, for this sure. week. How much is that a part of the conversation ever since that BYU game? Just you have to ignore that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's um, it's real. You gotta definitely gotta talk louder and 
you gotta you gotta know your checks and stuff. You could be on it more because you might not be able to hear the guy next to you. So it, it does become important to to be able to work in that environment. On the matter of weather, obviously the Oregon State game last year wasn't great weather and cold and rainy up in Corvallis. So knowing that you had success in a situation like that as a team, how much does that kind of factor into self belief? Yeah, I know once you once you do something, you know you can do it again. Like I know I can do it again. You know, I know I can play in the cold weather now and I know it's not gonna you know, as long as I'm focused on my assignments, I may wear two two socks or something like, you know, but as long as I'm focused, like that's that's what I'm, that's the goal. I'm not worried about the weather. Thanks, Mark.